Hello. Today I will show you how to troubleshoot and fix Dell or HP server. So the first thing I want to do now is to get the server out of the rack so that I'll be able to get access to the inner part of this uh, server and troubleshoot it. So to be able to get it out of your rack, you just press this two pin on the each side. There's one um, spring on each side of the server. Just push it in and then the server will slide out easily. So we can just troubleshoot this this server and see what why it is blinking red light. So actually what happens to this server is that um, it blinks this red light. Instead of turning on, when you push the power button, you just see the red light keep blinking. Why the green light is also blinking, the red light is also blinking and then the server won't be able to turn on so I'm, I'm going to troubleshoot it now and see what the problem is so from what I can sense the problem is likely the power supply most times problem is likely the power supply but I'm going to check so that we'll know where the problem is from so in case you haven't done already like and subscribe to the channel I have great videos on how to fix a whole lot of office equipment. So to be able to open this server, I'm going to turn this and then the server comes up. The cover comes out easily. So this is the server. This is what it looks like. Now to be able to troubleshoot it, the first thing I want to do is to remove the uh, power supply from the board. The reason why I want to remove the power supply from the board is because I want to drain out uh, any static charge on it. So to do that, I'm going to remove the power from the board and then I'm going to hold the power button for like uh, uh, 30 seconds, 20, between 20 and 30 seconds. That would drain out any excess power from this server. Then I'll put it back again and see if it turns on. If it doesn't turn on, uh, um, you have to test your power supply separately with another power supply so you remove the power supply completely and test it so what i want to do right now because i've been able to try draining the power supply and the problem is still the same it's still blinking that red light so what i would do is to isolate the power supply and then get another power supply on it so i use another power supply to try to power it on and then just to see if this particular power supply has issues Okay, so I will test with this power supply. So I'm not going to fix it inside. I will just uh, put it on top of it and then test and see if the server comes on. So in case you don't have access to another power supply, actually the reason why I was able to get another power supply is because we have another server abandoned server that has a good power supply so it's easier for me to assess the power supply and then use it to troubleshoot but in case you can't um, get power supply around you at the, at the moment that you're trying to fix or service your own server what you're going to do is you remove the power supply and then you test it separately with pin method so you plug the power supply plug in power to the power supply and then use a pin you're going to push one pin in pin number two and then what the other pin will go into the green green cable on on it so you test it manually if the fan spins that means the 
power supply is okay. If it doesn't, you just have to replace the power supply or you fix it. The power supply can also be repaired. Okay, so this power supply is spinning normally. So I will I will check if it's able to power on the system. So I'll just fix in my RAM and then I'll power on the PC to see if it will display. Okay, from from the look of things, the power supply is okay because it starts the system normally, but it keeps blinking these red lights, red and green lights, and the uh, server doesn't display on the doesn't display on the monitor. Ordinarily. The um, common place that I will have checked will have been the RAM, but because it's blinking this red light and then it is not displaying, and when I check the beep tone, um, the beep code, the number of times is, it beeps doesn't indicate that the problem is from the RAM. So I will just um, replace the RAM with another RAM just to be sure that the problem is not from the RAM because I have several RAMs on this particular server. I will just replace the RAM and see if that will solve the problem. But most likely it's not a RAM. If it is the RAM, once you remove one or two RAM and then you just use try out the RAM one by one. One of the one of the RAM is supposed to and work with the PC with the server rather. So I am going to try with another RAM. This is another RAM. And then I'll put in my VGA and see if it displays. If it doesn't display after trying out the RAMs one by one, then the problem is likely not the RAM. So at this particular point, 
I will have been able to uh, isolate two com- major components that will have caused this, which is the power supply and the RAM. So I'll just try the RAM one by one. If none works with it, I'll go to this CMOS battery. I will remove the CMOS battery and try to power it on without the CMOS battery and then do it with the CMOS battery. Okay, so I will remove the RAM and then try with another RAM to see if that will solve the problem. So the initial RAM I used didn't display. There's still no display on the monitor. So let's try with another RAM and see. Because most time, if the PC doesn't display, the problem is most likely from the RAM. So after trying out the RAM one by one, none of the RAM is able to cause the um, server to display on the monitor. So I'll go ahead and go to, to the next component. So I'll just fix in my RAMs back since I know that the RAM is not the problem. So I'll just connect my RAM and then I'll move over to the next component. So I, I want to plug in the the original power supply that was there before, just to make sure that it sits uh, inside it um, slots. But first of all, I, I will have to drain out the the static charge if there's any static charge there. So that is why I'm removing the the power supply plug from the socket. I just want to drain the um, static charge if there's any static charge it, it is very very important for you to drain static charge because most times when there's static charge on on the pc on the motherboard it prevents the pc from starting so i'll just drain out the static charge completely before i i proceed Okay, so this is the CMOS battery. Ordinarily, your PC should be able to start with, with or without this CMOS battery. It doesn't really do anything, disturb um, the PC from starting. What it regulates is your, um, it regulates the time, and then it controls uh, the front controller. But without this particular um, CMOS battery, your server might start up on its own because there is nothing controlling the um, powering the controllers that is attached to the button in front. So once there is no CMOS battery, it just starts the um, server once you you plug it in. So the next thing I'm going to check right now is my processor. That is the last thing I'm going to check. Uh, one of the problems that um, processors have is um, with heat because it works over time. You can see this is the paste. The cooling paste is dry. The cooling paste is completely dry. So the particular server is, is not able to... Uh, is not able to dissipate the heat that comes into it. 
into transfer the heat into the heat sink because the uh, the paste on it the cooling paste on it is dry and that is another major thing you need to check out for so what I'm going to do right now is to apply another cooling paste then I'll try it that should be able to solve the problem I think that is where the problem likely is with this particular um, the processor chip so I will just remove the old uh, cooling paste there apply a fresh one there and then I'm sure this particular server is going to start up so if you in your own case if you've been able to you can see once I started up and I touch the the processor it's it heats up which means the processor is fine the processor is working if you power on your PC and the processor doesn't get warm or get hot that means something is wrong with your processor is bad but this particular processor gets hot and gets warm when to touch it gets warm to the touch when I power it on it means the processor is fine and is working so what I'm going to do right now is to remove the old cooling paste apply a fresh cooling paste on it and then i will i will start up the pc that should be able to solve the problem so these are my rams i'm going to uh, remove the ram and then remove the um, power so that I can drain, I remove the RAM so that I can drain out the power then I reinstall the RAM again and then okay so I've been able to reinstall the RAM and then I've powered it on you can see the server is back on right now it is working fine now the server is fine now everything inside is working fine and the culprit here is the processor the processor paste has dried up so the processor is getting too hot and when it gets too hot um, it will not be able to start up your PC it will keep blinking that error light so this is my server this is a Dell server and it is working fine now so uh, Thank you for watching. I will see you some other time. Take care.